Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So today in this particular video, we are going to see that how you can put out a watermark onto any of your images using the Python programming language. So this is what we are going to see today in this particular Python project. Right, I'll be telling you that, uh, okay, first of all, you all must know that what is a watermark. Let's say I have my YouTube channel, which is fun with data science. So that in my channel that that fan with data sign the name which i am saying that is a watermark for me right let's say i have some image and i just want to put out this watermark onto that particular image right so without uh, editing i let's say if you just want to put out the watermarks you just need to go to any website put out the watermark make some edit in that and yeah that's a little bit of long task right but to reduce out the time and to be a little bit of more technical thing, we just use out the Python programming language as well for putting out the watermarks here onto any of the images respectively. You could just put out any dimensions at any particular place. You could put out the writing as well accordingly, right? So I'll be telling you how you could just do out this particular thing. So let's get started with the video for now. Okay. The IDE which I am using, first of all, that is my PyCharm IDE, right? So I am just writing out my code onto this particular IDE. Now, it's not compulsory for you to write out here itself. You could use v, uh, VS Code or you could use Sublime Text Editor as well, right? But online IDEs are not allowed. Now, after doing out this particular thing, the library which I'll be using out is Pillow Library. Okay, that is PIL. Now, PIL is the particular library that I would be using out here for um, making out this particular project. So, what I would just write is that I would write from PIL import, and here I have the image, comma, next I am having next function which is image draw, and third function I'm having is image font. This image is used for, let's say I, I just mentioned that I just want to put out the watermark onto any particular image. So in that case, this image is a function which helped me to load out some images for me. Second image draw. Now this is the basically function which will help me to draw out or put out something onto my image. And this image font is one of the another functions which allows me to put out any font onto the image. <laughs> excuse me right so hope you just got out this idea very much carefully first of all that what library i'm gonna use and what are the functions that i am gonna go ahead with for making out this particular project now here comes one another thing that if you haven't uh, installed the pillow library so just write out the command that is pip install pil and it will be installed for you you could use the terminal which is onto the PyCharm or you could use out the command prompt as well. Totally depends on you, whatever you just wish out to go ahead with. Command is, I would again repeat out, that's pip install pil. Okay, for me, I have already installed that, so I'm just not going to do that thing again here, fine? Next, what I would be just doing is that, first of all, I just want out the image. First of all, I just want to open out the image into which I just want to put out uh, the watermark, put out the text, put out the font on, onto that, right? So in that case, I'll be putting out, let's say my variable name is demo underscore image. Okay, let that be underscore here and that is the image, right? So this is my variable that I'm going to go with. So for this possible, I'll be using out that image function, which we have already imported above. Putting out a dot here and using out the open. Open is one another function. Inside the bracket, I'll be putting out the image into the uh, the name of that particular image here. Now, before putting out that particular thing, I have just two tips for you here to keep in mind. First of all, that your image should be in the JPG format, not the PNG one, because for PNG, we have a different code to write. Uh, that is the reason. I'm just mentioning that. Uh, that should be into the JPG format. If you have a PNG image and you just want to convert that into JPG, you could just use out any of the online compilers. So you could just, sorry, online websites. There are many websites available. So you could just go on to any of them. Second thing, if you are using PyCharm or VS or Sublime, whatever you are just using, in whatever the folder, your file is there inside which you are writing out the program. Let's say my file name is watermark.py. Right, this is my file name. Into this particular file only, I'm writing out my code. So whatever is the folder in which this particular file is saved, 
your image as well shall be saved onto that particular folder only make sure to remember out this particular thing the location for your file in which you're writing the program and the location for your uh, place and the location where you have put on the image both of them should absolutely be staying so here I'm just simply writing image.jpg. This is my file name. I have simply taken out a demo file here. I haven't made out any particular image or something like that. Simply I have taken a demo image. Okay. Right. What about the width and size of that image? So, okay. I would just write IMG underscore um, width. W I D T H width comma. I would write IMG underscore height okay and here goes the height so width and height of that image would absolutely be same to the real image size i just do not want to defractor that or basically i just do not want to give out any particular uh, size of the image here date so putting out a dot and using out here as size right so this demo image is my variable in which i have set out that what image what is the uh, like what is the name of the image on which I just want my uh, watermark to come, right? And accordingly, whatever is the size of that particular image, that will be my by default size only, right? Now, coming down. Next, I am having that what text and first of all, I'll be using out the image draw function. So as to tell that, okay, I'm just using out this particular function because I just want to put on or draw something or put some text onto my image, which I have loaded here. Right. So, um, okay. So draw underscore. Okay, one second. Coming back underscore image. My variable name draw underscore image. Okay. Putting the equal to sign here. Here I'll be using out that image draw function. Right. This image draw. Putting out a dot and again using out here as draw function and into the bracket I will be mentioning that particular variable name inside which I had set out my image. So that is image.jpg. That's the spot. Okay, not this one. I'm sorry. So that one is demo underscore image. This is the variable name. Right. Okay. Yeah. So here into this particular that is draw underscore image variable. I have simply loaded out this uh, function. Firstly, I have initialized out this function that is image draw, put out a dot and then used out the draw function from this particular function which I have imported. And put inside that, I had just put on that variable name in which I have saved my image on which I just want to put out the watermark. Right, hope you just got out the thing very much carefully what I was just trying to convey from you. Now coming to the new line, what I will be doing is that I will be putting out the text as well. So that's text underscore image. So yeah, here it goes. And what's the text that I want to put? First of all, I just want to put out my channel name only. That's one with data signs, right? Yeah, that's okay. So that I had just put on here as a text that what text you just want to put on to the particular image. Next. Now. How to tell it that what font of the image I want. There are many different types of fonts which you could use. Some are in the italic, some are in bolds. Yeah, there are lots and lots of um, like fonts which are actually available. Right, so we have a website and that website allows you to download out some free fonts. Right, so we'll be choosing out a font from that particular website only. So let me just go on to the Google and show you that particular thing. So yeah, here it is. So it's all free download. Okay, that's the name for the website is HTTPs all free download.com. Right, so from that, when you just come into the font folder, so here you have different types of font which you could actually use out accordingly, whatever you just wish out to use. Right, there are many. You could just use out any of them. Right, now I have already downloaded one of the fonts for me, and which is this particular font. But uh, let me show you while downloading one another as well that how you could just go ahead with the other fonts as well. Okay, let's do it for this particular one. Um, okay, let me just go down as well. Fine, yeah, let's do it for this one. I would just click on this download this font. Okay, this particular link, I'm just clicking out. Yeah, so see downside it has downloaded and that was a zip file. So it has already been converted into another type of file. Now what I would just do, I would just copy out this. 
um, okay first of all i would just double click onto this particular and yeah here is that particular file i would just click on install okay so this will particular install for me so yes that has been done now i would just copy out this particular file copy and now i would go to that particular place where my file is saved into which i'm writing out the program so for me that's in windows c users then user i have pycharm projects and it's python project too yeah this is the file name we are just being actually loaded out and now here i'll be pasting out the uh the like the folder which we have actually saved out to control v right here so just have a look that here this particular file has been loaded down and this is somewhat a uh, lefati c uh, comic some something like that i'm just not able to pronunciate out the correct name but yeah that's okay right this is the file name now what to do out now back come back to the pycharm id right this is how you just download out and put on all the things so i have just explained you the process as well now what font you just want to give so i will just write out the name as um font underscore image is equal to here comes my image font function which we have already used above so putting out a dot and using out here one function that is true type inside this you would be putting out that location onto which your uh, text your font is actually saved in which you want your watermark to come out so if you are using out the pycharm ide only so what you could just do come to that particular folder and here i'll be finding that oh, that was somewhat l right starting was somewhat yeah this one i just got it select out this do out the right click go on to the copy option and click on here for the copy path and click on the absolute path right that has been copied and just quickly paste that out here okay this is how you do out and just change out these slashes make that to backslash and i'll be changing all of them so now with this way i feel just do not need to add out anything neither the file name nothing like that you just need to add out simply it's like that only um okay this one is completed okay just let me check out at the last i wasn't able to do that yeah this is all set now one more thing remains that what's the size you want out here okay what size you just want to put out let's say my size which i want is 50 okay now you could just put out any size according to your choice whatever you just want to go ahead with right coming down what's the text width and the text height whatever you just want to put on so in that case you could just simply take the text width and height of the text and the like font which you have already right here okay i will just show you how okay what's the above name which i had given that was image width okay so here comes the text underscore width comma text underscore height and that is equal to right here i'll be using out that uh, draw underscore image putting out a dot using out the function here which is text size okay text size what will the size of the text so that will be totally depending upon the text image and and the second one would be the font image okay that is the font image right i had just set on that particular thing next coming to the downside i'm just giving out some margin so margin let's say the value is 10 um that's let's say the name is font underscore margin right here okay let's come to the new line gives the value for the x and y so let's say image okay simply let that be x only x is equal to okay now i have here the what, what the what is the width and all the things i want to give i'll be giving for the image actually okay image underscore width minus text width okay image width minus text width minus font margin okay that is font margin this is what i just want to set out here for the value for x right this is what i just want to set um now again i would say it depends on you what you just want to go ahead with uh for the y as well i'd be just taking out the height so that is image height minus text height minus font margin right you could just choose anything according to your choice or you could just give out some specific number here as well right it's not that compulsory fine then we have draw underscore image 
dot we have text inside the text what are we putting are we putting the value for x comma y right after that putting out the comma and what's the text which we have given so that is text underscore image putting out the a comma using the font as a parameter so font is equal to and what's the variable that is font underscore image right this is a variable so here at last what i'll be doing i'll be using that um, okay that what was the name which i had used in the above okay, one second let me come down first of all and where's the cursor so yeah that is demo underscore image fine so here comes the demo underscore image dot show and i just want to save that image as well so in that case i could simply use draw underscore image dot save into the bracket i just want to give the image name as watermark dot and the extension would be jpg only jpg right so yeah my program has been completed now it's the time for running out this so let's click on run and yes, the image would be opening in a short while. And yeah, have a look onto the downside it's coming. Let me just go to this place. Yeah, have a look. Here it is coming, fun with data science. And that's the one which we have actually chosen out, right? This was the only one thing which we have taken. The fun with data science was my, actually, that this was my like um, name which I had given and the font as well. I would be closing this out here, okay? Okay, it is saying image dot does not have any attribute which is save. Okay, so let, let's see dot save um, watermark dot, dot jpg I demo image. Okay, that is not draw, that is the demo only. Sorry. Okay, yeah, now that would actually work out. No issues with that. I just want to change out the font once again and show you that the things are absolutely working correctly. So I, I already have one of the fonts downloaded so i would just go on to the copy again here copy path and then the absolute one i would replace this one here so like this i'll be replacing it out and putting out the new font here so another thing i'll be replacing out these slashes as well so yeah this goes after that this let me just go back here so okay this one as well will be changed out and what about this first one this as well will be changed out yeah now i would again be running out this particular run so yeah let's see that what's gonna come out here as an output so yeah again i'm about to look that at what it's giving it is giving fun with data science written at this particular place right and i guess now this time my image would be saved as well so yeah now it has been saved as well so if i just glue and click on watermark dot jpg that's right here somewhere yeah this file so yeah now just have to look that downside is coming fun with data science okay you would even you could just change out the text according to your choice again as well i would recommend that let's say i just want to write out my name which is let's say shambhavi gupta and i'll be saving it as watermark one dot jpg and now it's the time for running that out once again so yeah it's again running it out now just have a look on to downside it's coming shambhavi gupta right and if i just go on to the pie charm once again and open out that watermark one dot py it's that this one dot jpg and see right so hope you got out this idea very much carefully regarding out this particular project that how you could put out the watermarks onto the particular images accordingly and that would absolutely be saved now this small program around 15 lines make your work very much easier to save out and put on your particular watermarks into any of your images right so hope you enjoyed out this particular project so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care